I'm finally starting on my timber framing. I've got most, about 95% of all my wood all milled up. You can see right here behind me, I've got a, a mountain of timbers back here. Um, i got my saw, my saw horses that I built, gosh, two years ago. Everything's been, uh, it's taken me forever to get to this point. Uh, building my sawmill for two years and clearing, clearing ground and um, building the, the shop pad and the floor and everything else. Um, finally, and I've also been collecting um, posts and, and wood and, and everything else going up in the mountains and, and collecting all these uh, trees and all that stuff and cutting down trees for, for a couple of years to finally get the pile that I've got behind me. And so now I'm finally going to be able to get to get to start cutting some of these timbers and, and making some of the uh, the skeleton work of my timber frame shop. Um, now my shop is 44 wide, it's 40 foot deep. Um, I've got a 14 foot ceiling on the inside of it, and that's the, the middle side with a uh, second story over top of it. Um, that second story will have a about a 10 and a half foot roof um, ceiling in, in, the, in the peak. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on uh, on the floor joists and start uh, getting a bunch of those all knocked out. They're uh, a uh, 5 by 8 inches by 10 foot long. Go ahead and start getting those knocked out to kind of get a, a big done pile done quick. Now I'm doing this uh, all kind of a mixture of my, my primitive tools and, and a few other deals. I've got uh, you know some of my layout tools, of course my, my framing square. I've got my chisels. My chisels I bought... Um, at antique stores, I've, I, I've looked all over the place for them. Um, I've researched these chisels, and it's like this chisel here is, is well over 100 years old. Um, this one here was made uh, back at the turn of the century. So I've got some old tools. I've even got a, an old uh, boring machine, and that boring machine was made back in the, in the early, early 1800s. Yeah, push that away for me, please. Thank you. Take your leg off with it. <laughs> I'm 
I'm staying above the line so I can cut to the line with my chisel.
Here's a few of my braces. These are all my bent braces. So these are the braces that will run in the same direction as my bents inside the frame. These are about 85 inches long. And then these ones are my wall braces. And these are a little bit bigger. These are about 90 inches long. These are all 4x6s. And these are cut on the 3, 4, 5 methods. They're a little bit more difficult to cut versus just a 90 degree like what these other braces are. Here is my continually growing finished pile. I've got a bunch of my floor joists over here. This isn't anywhere near as many as I need. I've got 25 of them that I've got to make. So I've got some here and I've got a few little ones over there past my, my saw. But these are my big floor joists. Lost to do. Can you keep cutting? Okay. If you liked the video, please subscribe. Like it, share it. Thanks for watching.